So I got five things going out this morning. I got to pack them up real quick right now and get the morning started. I got a jacket, a pair of pants, two language CD sets, and a box of four of vintage Christmas lights. So with most of my items, I always like to put them into the poly suffocation bags just for a little extra protection. Also, it gives a little better appearance. You know, so clothing. These are a pair of pants, linen pants. You might have seen me just pick them up. Um, for these, I'm going to throw just over a pound. So I'm going to put them in the padded flat rate. Do a three-fold. Fold them. Instead of folding them in half like you would, fold it in a third and then a third again. And it makes it narrower to fit into that envelope. All right, so since these pants are over a pound, it's priority rate. And I'm going to put them into a padded flat rate. Right here, seven dollars and thirty-three cents. If you're new, you might be a little more, like seven fifty or so. Another option, other than the padded, is you can go with these cardboard flat rates. This is a legal flat rate envelope. It's the same width, but it gives you three inches le more length. So you can put pants or something in here as well. The other clothing article I got it going out today is this Nautica competition jacket. Picked this up for a dollar about a week and a half ago, two weeks. And I just weighed this and it's only 13 ounces. So this can stay first class. So what I'm gonna do with that one is just put it into a vinyl bag. And again, I don't store mine in these bags. I put them in once they sell. But if you sell clothing or anything for that matter, try to use bags like this. It just gives a better appearance. You don't wanna just take a piece of clothing and throw it in a bag like this. I know I've said it before, but it's called perceived value. Let the buyer feel good about the money they spent. They get something in a clear poly bag like that. That's how it looks like when you get it in the store off the shelf. Possibly, it just looks better taken care of. And it's a better presentation. And it makes it look like they're getting a quality item for what they spent. CD sets. Each, each one has... What is it, 16? I got these at the library, a dollar each. So for like $45 each. I'll show them to you in my What's All video coming up. So these are gonna go in the 1097 box. I just tried it and it fits almost perfectly. I'm just gonna put a bubble, little bubble wrap around each one just to hold it a little snugger. But this can't get damaged. And like I said, it's not really to protect it, it's just kind of to Hold it in there from rattling around because these plastic cases are really durable. Four boxes of vintage lights going out today. The disc sets, I paid a dollar each, sold for $46 each. Those two are done. Then we have the pants I paid a dollar for and they sold for eighteen dollars. The jacket I paid one dollar for and it sold for twenty-three change. And the light bulbs I paid four dollars for and they sold for forty-three dollars. What's up, brother? See if there's any Lululemon on the rack. Hey, how are you? Good. Is this a coach bag? Sure is. Spotted that before I opened it. Good condition. Let me go look up the serial number. Hi, how are you? Always check the Pyrex. The Pyrex Pirates usually get to it all right away though. 
Nothing there. Fitz and Floyd. There's a Fitz and Floyd Christmas ornament. $100 original price tag. Asking six bucks. Fitz and Floyd First Ladies Collection. Colleen Christian Burke. 30 bucks. Eighty-five, thirty. Interesting. Let's go check all the small hard goods. Back to being a mess. As seen on TV, that can get you a Vero. That's asking for trouble. Take a look if there's any bags. Here's a sack. I'm gonna pass on that. It's been nothing good lately. Never heard of that brand. Zalaria. Man, they're right in the middle. Jessica Simpson duffel bag. Is that the same bag? 50 bucks for the bags. Let's go back and grab it. All right, I think we got a good bag here. Jessica Simpson tote bag, duffel bag. Comps are sold at like $55. All right, the coach bag has no comps. One listed at 40. So I'm gonna put the coach bag back. And keep the Jessica Simpson. Well, are those all Furbies up there? I think it's like a different brand but similar no tag and it says something animals but I can't they wrote over it and this one's not marked all right I figured out they're called Hatchimals they're similar to not to Furbies but nowhere near the price it's too bad those weren't Furbies there ended up being six of them I need to open this up make sure it's not broke That's nice. It's a music box. I think it's good. That's a good one. All right. Hoping that kind of video came out good. Leaving goodwill, I got that bag, Jessica Simpson. I'll show you everything at the end a little better. And that ornament. I'm gonna hit the local thrift store now. All right, just pulled up to the next place. I wanna say something before I go in. If you're a new reseller and you're watching this, you see how when I went in goodwill, I went, I looked at the, the carts and the racks that just came out real quick. Then I went through glassware, went right down the back shelf, all the hard goods, checked the bags, and then the shoes and toys. Today, I didn't even bother with clothes. Because I know that Goodwill, they're, like their men's shirts, for example, are anywhere from 7 to like 10 even some are $12. So it's way too much. And unless you find the, the one gem that's going to sell for, you know, $50 a shirt maybe, it's not worth it. So you will develop a pattern and make it a point to learn your thrift stores and you will know what places are good for what items. You know, I know some places are best for clothes. I know others are good for bags. I know others are good for, you know, shoes and hard goods. And you develop your routine, you develop your pattern, and it's going to save you time instead of going in and spending an hour or two looking all over the store and not coming out with anything.
Thank you, sir. This is where I find a lot of Tumi bags. So let's go check that first. Always go to your strongest area first. So I put all these clothes racks. This is new. Where the hell do these come from? This Hello Kitty bag. I wonder if they got a clothing sale going on. This is a lot of clothes that they brought in. All right, Toomey, where are you? All you gotta do is look at the zippers and you'll see the Toomey logo. Don't even have to pull them out. Plus, you could tell the real thick ballistic nylon. How about a Filson? Never found one of those. All clothes are a dollar. Let's find some good stuff. I got four pair of brand new with tag tactical pants and funny enough I just got an offer for one of them on Poshmark and a good offer listed at 34 offer for 30 so I'm taking it now I better go on eBay and delete it you would think with all clothing one dollar I'd be cleaning up but I'm very picky with the clothing my fast turnover. It's pretty cool that they got different vignettes set up in these cubbies. That one's like a man cave. Christmas. And it goes right down the line. See if there's anything interesting in there. They got a whole thing of WWE or WWF. Two bucks each. I don't know anything about these though. I know some of them could sell. Vintage glasses, matchbox. All right, I'm done in there. My battery died, so I couldn't finish filming. Don't need all my extra books from Amazon right now. You don't have any um, Terry Goodkind in here, do you? Any what? Terry Goodkind? Oh, I don't even know. All right, so I only pulled the three things out of there. I just donated about 60 books. That were duds that I pulled from Amazon. He just took them out the back. He's gonna give me a receipt for a tax write-off. So I'll put a dollar book, and you know, that's what I paid for them. So it'll work out. All right, so I'm back home. I only got five things today, but coincidentally, coincidentally, five things went out today. So you gotta have that revolving door of inventory. So let me show you what we got. All right, so Goodwill, I got this Jessica Simpson. It's like a shoulder tote bag. Five dollars, and you can see they proudly write it on the inside. Morons. Anyway, um, I'm thinking I could get like 30, 35 bucks for it maybe. Jessica Simpson has a pretty big following. And you saw it in the video, so I'm not gonna take it out again. Paid six dollars. Fits in Floyd. It's really nice. Plays jingle bells. There was no chips, I checked it out real good. So I don't know, maybe 30-ish. My wife might like it and want to keep it. All right, then the clothes, all the clothes were a dollar. And they had a lot of clothes they brought in. But you would think, like I said, you'd leave with a lot of clothes, but I'm very picky with the clothing. If you're not disciplined with something like that, you can go in there and get crazy feeling good about spending a dollar on something. But then six months later, and you got most of it because it never sold. It's not worth it. So I'm very picky. Here's one I got. This is 100% wool, women's sleeveless. It's like an off-centered zip up. This, the zip isn't centered and it's wool rich. So excellent brand. This is modern, it's not a vintage one. And a dollar and maybe it'll go for like 18 bucks. Grabbed one shirt. I saw the Under Armour logo sticking out. Checked it out, it has a spider on it. It's an Under Armour Marvel collab for Spider-Man. Excellent condition. And I saw a few, I got to comp it better, but a few were listed in like the upper 20s, $30. And then I grabbed these pair of Levi's. 569, 34 by 32, and they're purple. Looking at the pants, last time they had this sale a couple of weeks ago, I grabbed four pair of brand new tactical pants, and I grabbed a few pair of linen pants. 
So I always look for something that's different and not your typical. So purple pants are definitely odd. There was only a couple listed and it looks like they're in the 20s. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. Wasn't the greatest haul for sure. A few quality pieces that should sell and make me a little bit of money. So I appreciate you watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, and I'll see you later. Bye.